Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of comparing fractions. This is standard 4.3D in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 14 of the 2017 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So Trevor jogged the following fractions of a mile last week. We've got 3 quarters, 5 tenths, 4 fifths. We need to just compare these, and one of them is going to be true, which means three of these are going to be false. Well, we can't do any comparisons because they all have different denominators and different numerators, which means we need to find the least common denominator. We need to list out the multiples of our denominators. So we're going to list out our fours. We've got tens. We've got fives. I want to find the first number that shows up on each of these lists. And then if we can do that, we can change all these multiples, uh, these fractions into equivalent fractions. It'd be a lot easier. So four, I'm going to count by fours. Eight, 12, 16, 32, 20. 20 might work. Watch this. 20 shows up here. Let me see if 20 shows up here. 15. There we go. You're looking for a number that shows up on all three lists. Because what we need to do here is we need to take our 3 fourths. We'll do it for all of them. And let me do the 3 fourths first. We're going to multiply it by something. And we want to get it into 20ths. If we can get all of our fractions in the 20th, then this is going to be really easy for us to compare. So you multiply straight across. 4 times what makes 20? Well, that's going to be 5. 4 times 5 makes 20. We're going to multiply by 5 over 5 because 5 over 5 is the same as 1. When you multiply anything by 1, it stays the same. So we're really keeping this fraction the same. We're just making it look different. We're cutting the pieces smaller. So 3 fourths is the same as 15 twentieths. So that's one down, two to go. Let's do our five tenths. Multiply it by something. It's going to equal twentieths. So ten times that's two. We need to know our facts here. So if the numerator is needs to match the denominator, they're both going to be two there. So because remember two halves, that equals one as well. Five times two makes ten. All right, so five tenths is the same as ten twentieths. And then I've got one more. I've got four fifths times something is going to equal twentieths. So five times four, so that's going to be a four as well. Four fourths makes a whole. Four times four, 16. So I've got my three fractions now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite these F, G, H, and J with my new fraction. So four fifths, which is really 16 twentieths, and then five tenths. 10 twentieths. And they say 16 twentieths is less than. So you see how I replaced 4 fifths there, 5 tenths there, and that is incorrect. 16 twentieths is greater than. So that is incorrect. Let's do this next one. 4 fifths again. So that is going to be 16 twentieths. 3 fourths is 15 twentieths. And they say less than. So 16 twentieths is less than, no, it's not quite, it's greater than, once again, we're close, but still incorrect. So two left, three fourths, that's my 15 twentieths, is less than my 5 tenths, which is my 10 twentieths, no, not even close. Once again, we're, it needs to be greater. So I really hope J is my answer because that is the last one left. Let's take a look. I've got 3 fourths. That is my 15 twentieths. So I'll put my 3 fourths right there. 4 fifths is 16 twentieths. There we go. Really close. And take a look. They have the correct sign. This is a less than sign. So it's because 15 twentieths is less than 16 twentieths, we can say that 3 fourths is less than 4 fifths. So our answer here is going to be J.